From Miami-Dade, Broward, and the Keys, this is South Florida's CBS 4 News. Plus, we'll show you a brand new treatment to get rid of your double chin. New tonight, do you ever feel like diet and exercise just aren't enough to give you a lean jawline? That double chin just keeps popping out. Speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you can stand a needle, the FDA has approved something for you. CBS 4's Lisa Pachola has the story. It's known as the dreaded double chin, that unwanted area of fat that can be related to aging, weight gain, or just genetics. Uh, this runs around my family, so I have a lot of thick neck family members. So. <laughs> <laughs> and it's very hard to get rid of. Luckily for Melissa, she works in the right place at the Bauman Cosmetic and Research Institute in Miami. Dr. Leslie Bauman was one of the first doctors to see the results of Kybella, the one and only FDA drug approved for the treatment of fat under the chin. Dr. Bauman participated in the drug's four-year trial. I'm so excited about Kybella. It's really a game changer. We finally have something that shrinks fat, that always works, that's safe. So it's really exciting. Kybella is now known as the ultimate fat buster for the chin. So it's injected into fat and it dissolves the fat permanently. So you may have some bruising and some swelling, uh -huh. but you don't end up with scarring like you do with liposuction. The downtime is so much easier. But doctors cannot use it just to tighten loose or flabby skin. It's only meant for fat cells. And it's really for this fat here. When you go like this and you're looking in your iPad screen and uh -huh. you see that, it's for that. So how much you need really depends on how much fat you have. Today, Dr. Bauman is treating two patients with Kybella. Melissa, who you met earlier, is on her third and final treatment. Roberto is having his first injections. So uh, have you noticed that you've had a little bit of extra skin here that's kind of bugged you? But for a long time, you know, I, it's not just because it's just only been, you know, just recent, but I, you know, I have, I tend to go up and down in weight or whatever, but I think, you know, after you're 21, it's just downhill. <laughs> you feeling anything? Nothing. After numbing the area, Dr. Bauman injects small amounts of the medicine directly into the fat cells that have been marked out on the grid under the chin. The whole procedure took about 10 minutes. The average patient undergoes four treatments over four months. Dr. Bauman says patients see some results three weeks after the first treatment. But Kybella isn't cheap. So each dot in Melissa's chin represents about $100 per injection. So today she's going to have 16 so $1,600 for today's visit. So in the average person, it can be $3,000 to $6,000 for a treatment course. And for patients like Melissa, who is seeing her results now, here she is before and then after two treatments. You see how I have my little dent here? Mm -hmm. I didn't have that before. I used to go yeah, from see. here down. Ah. So I'm actually, ha I have a neck. <laughs> so how do you feel about that? I feel good. Uh -huh. I feel good. It makes me feel a little prettier. So you're wondering, since Kybella kills fat cells, can't we inject it into other body parts with fat, like the abdomen or under the arms? The answer is no. Kybella has not been approved for anything else but chin fat. When and if it does, you'll hear about it. I'm Lisa Petrillo, CBS 4 News Tonight. That's the question, is where else can we inject ourselves, right? <laughs> yes. Not yet, I guess. No, no. That's the big question.